So is stop break level of when I let go of this, it, let's say I center the throttle on, it's on bi-directional, it, how much braking it will do, essentially? So this is a, if brake on stop is activated, so on the left-hand side there, there's a brake on stop checkbox. If that is activated, then the stopped brake level is how much braking force there's going to be. Um, so with 10, basically means that with brake on stop activated, it's, it's a passive brake that all three MOSFET legs are essentially shorted together. So all lower MOSFETs are on. Um, so all three motor faces are shorted together. And that's like, if you take a motor and you hold all three wires together and spin it, it's, it's a pretty good, good drag brake, inertial brake. And then as you bring that down to, uh, to zero, I think it increases to only about 90% or something, but that's enough to make it feel like the brake is completely off. So it's, uh, then it's, uh, allowing, um, yeah. Uh, it basically allows it to freewheel instead of instead of being such a uh, strong drag. So it's basically the level of of drag brake when brake on stop is on. Yeah. So if brake on stop is off, then it'll actually just it, when it's the throttle is neutral, it'll freewheel. 